we're just having breakfast here at the hotel kasi we really enjoyed the breakfast yesterday. Kahit na paulit-ulit yung spread nila, but it, it's good. We're already here sa Plaza de Catalunya in Barcelona. We just plan to take the half-on, half-off bus today para lang we'll get a general view of Barcelona. Pwede kang bumili ng tickets dito sa tapat ng plaza. Price for one adult is 33 euros. Uh, and then 11 years old and below is 18 euros. There are two routes. It's the red one and the blue one. Ah, blue siya? So the sagrado one is the one for the blue one. Oo, pero yung kulay niya sa mapa green. Yeah. So blue pa na siya. I think it's an outdated map. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi green route siya. But we're taking the uh, we're taking the red route muna today, and if we have time, we'll take the blue route later or tomorrow. We'll see. Meron pala talagang four routes, so this is the red route, and these are the major stops. And this is the blue route. At ito naman yung mga major stops niya. This is the map for the red and blue route, and there's also the green route and the orange route. So for the green route, ito yung mga stops naman niya. And for the orange route, ito naman yung mga major stops niya. Hindi lang namin talaga alam kung saan yung stations ng green and orange routes. I think they're from different bus tour companies, that's why. We already got our tickets. Ganito siya. So apparently, you have to keep your ticket kasi isa-scan mo siya every time you have on and off the... Bus. Ito pala sa tapat ng information is the blue route. So we have to cross the square. Uh, nandun yung bus stop for the, the red, red route. Ito si hop on hop of bus. Pero this is the blue route. So ayun yata yung bus stop namin for the red route. Doon kami pupunta. May pila din. May pila din. <laughs> nakalagay naman red route so dito yung pila ang daming pigeons dito sa Teleferic de Montjuic kasi nakita namin yung cable car so we really don't have we really don't have a specific itinerary basta kung ano yung makita namin interesting sa upon hop of bus bababa kami so uh, bumaba kami dito ayan tapos we'll check the cable car ride so we can see an overview of Barcelona That's a good view of Barcelona. There, oh, it's nice. In fairness, parang just for the view of for the view of Barcelona, sulit naman na tawong si cable car. Oh yeah, the port is over there. Is that ship there yet? 
Andito na kami sa Castel de Montjuic. Hindi ko alam kung tama. You should flip the camera. This is an overview of the castle. Ayan. So the kids are interested to go inside the castle. It's $12 for adults and $8 for kids. Castle used to be a military fortress and was built as far back as the 1640s. Ang cute, may dalawang ibon dun sa harapan. There's a nice view of the port here on top of the castle. So dito din siguro kami mag check in for our cruise. Dahil na uuhaw na kami. And dito daw yung bar inside. So ex we'll explore it. Where is it? Oh wow! Hindi ko alam ko ito lang yung restaurant niya na sinasabing cafe. But there's just like a small uh, food truck right there in the corner. So we're gonna get something to drink first. What? Ito yung bar, cafeteria. There. Eh, nakakaaliw lang. Look at the ice cream. Filipinos. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. I think this is the topmost already of the castle. Let me just give you a view. Oh, this is the topmost view of the castle. Ayan. And then on this side is the city. Oh, there's a grada. I don't know if you can see. It's so small. So, <laughs> well, apparently, this castle has significance to the Philippines because Jose Rizal was imprisoned here. Pala. out na. Wow. This is the exit. Andilim. Cool. Ah, dito din tayo pumasok kanina. Okay. So, ito rin pala yung entrance kanina. We're already back here in the cable car. Parang it, time check, it's 2.40 right now. So parang it took us an hour and a half to explore the castle. Kasama na yung uh, snack. So pababay na kami and we will take the hop on hop off bus again. Kanina hindi pa sila masyadong madami. Look! They have better. There's a lot! We're actually in the blue route now. Para makita naman namin yung other side of uh, Barcelona. <laughs> Wala naman kami palang bumaba. Iikot lang talaga kami. So kasama siya dun sa yung 24 hour na hop on hop off. It's valid for all the routes naman. So para masulit namin uh, dalawang route yung gagamitin namin. Rush hour din nila. Time check, it's 5 p.m. right now. Ayan siya! Oh my God! There, even from the bus, it already looks so immaculate. Bukas kami may entrance ticket sa kanya. Almost 
It's a very nice, quaint uh, restaurant. Anyway, we ordered two uh, kinds of paella. Akala namin mas mura siya dun sa El Nacional. Yung pala, yung menu niya dito nakalagay kasi 24 euros and 50. Kung nag-order na kami, ang ordering pala niya per person. So yung 24.50 is for good for one serving. Eh, since uh, we're five, we have to order at least two dahil dalawa naman yung in-order namin. So, lumalabas, 50 euros pala yung isang order. So, we'll see. Sana masasarap siya. And another thing, dito pala din binibili ang tubo. This is five euros. One liter of water. order namin fried shrimp. Kapareho na din pala siya tali sa atin talaga. Tikman natin kung anong kaibahan ng fried shrimp sa shrimp natin. Masarap. Pero parang pareho nga lang din ng mga pritong shrimp sa atin. Uh, nilagyan namin siya ng lemon dahil basta masarap siya. If, if, if the, the lemon may the taste difference. Wow. Ito yung octopus. Octopus pala siya talaga. Cool. Look at that. Let's try the octopus. Really good. Ah, oh, nagustuhan ng mga bata. Hmm. Lasa din siya grilled squid, pero with a twist. Hindi ko ma-describe yung with a twist. Masarap. Masarap. It's crispy on the outside, but yeah. mushy on the inside. It's, yeah, it's crispy on the outside. Pero ang lambot niya nga sa loob. It's not even rubbery. It's soft. Which one did you like? The shrimp or the squid? Both. I like the squid more than the shrimp. Yeah, wow. We have our paella. This one is the one with me. And this is the paella neck. Hindi ko alam talaga yung timpla nila ng paella But this is so much better than the one we had yesterday from El Nacional I'm sorry Ito yung medyo mas ano Balance Balance yung lasa Let's try naman the paella negra I don't even find it that hot Yeah, ano lang Pero mas maalat pa rin siya than normal Even the negra is good. Yeah. Yeah, look at my teeth. <laughs> Just to show you, this is the large paella pan. Yan yung good for two nila. Although, if you will notice, hindi siya puno. Bababaw lang sila mag paella dito. 24.50 yung isang serving nito. So, times two ito. This one is 28, ano? Yeah. This one is 28 per serving. So, times 2 din ito. So, George ordered a glass of beer. Ayan. This one naman daw is from Valencia. Yeah. 3 euros and 50 cents. Salap. So, our total bill... 157.50. So, ayan yung presyo niya. There. The paella is both uh, 26.50 pala per serving. So, we got two servings of each. Okay, we're done with dinner. Time check. It's almost 10pm. Pero, tingnan nyo. 
<laughs> may konting araw pa rin para siyang 6pm hindi, mga 5.30 actually yeah. Yeah. so yung mga bata ayaw nilang maniwala na It's late, late na <laughs> pabalik na kami sa hotel uh, we're just gonna walk it's uh, around 2 blocks away from uh, Las Plapaella de Su it was okay. good we enjoyed it. In fairness, masarap yung paella niya. Better than the one in El Nacional. La Secreta. Highly recommend. La Secreta. Yeah. Yung pork. Yeah. Masarap. Uh, I just have to show you. So far, wala pa kaming nakikita kahit na anong convenience store dito na 24 hours. Like 7-Eleven. Yung mga ganyang common brands. But what they have is this. Si Super Mecca. Na open 24 hours. Stuff. Parang ganyan yung 7-Eleven nila dito. Ito nga pala yung area ng hotel namin. Our hotel is right there. And that's already our hotel. Uh, just to show you, ayan yung hotel namin. And then, katabi lang niya merong ano, supermarket. So, it's very convenient. Tapos, sa tapat ni actually bus stop. Hello, we're already back in the room. Time check, it's 10 p.m. So for today, we just took the hop on and hop off bus. Yung station niya nasa plat Plaza Catalunya. You can buy your tickets there as well. Pero yung nasa kanya is the red line and the blue line. Meron pa palang orange line and green line. Pero hindi namin alam kung saan yung station niya. So we took the red line first. And then, bumaba lang kami sa Teleferic de Montjuic. Hindi ko alam kung paano siya i-pronounce, sorry. Yun yung may cable car. Uh, by the way, dun sa mga mag hop on hop of bus, they will give you this booklet. It actually uh, comes with discount vouchers pala inside. Eh, hindi namin siya pinakialaman. Tapos it was too late when I saw na meron palang discount dapat dito na 15% off yung cable car ride namin. <laughs> Uh, don't forget to visit the vouchers kung meron kayong gustong puntahan from the hop on and hop off. May discount coupons dito so you can check it out. And then after that, we took the blue line. Yun naman yung line na dadaan ng Sagrada Familia and Park Goy. Pero hindi na kami bumaba. We just wanted to explore that side naman. So generally, the hop on and hop off bus naman was a good option for us. So, parang nakita na rin namin yung buong Barcelona. At least get a feel of the place. It was a fun way to explore Barcelona na hindi nakakapagod. We, our, our bus ticket is valid for 24 hours. Uh, binili namin siya ng 11 a.m. So, we'll see if we can still use it to go to Sagrada Familia tomorrow. Kasi, kailangan nasa Sagrada naman kami by 11 a.m. By the way, we also tried using GCash here in Barcelona. And so far, kahit dito, lumalabas panalo pa rin yung rate ni GCash. Parang yung conversion ni GCash is 63.02. And then, compared to BPI credit card, yung conversion rate niya is 63.30 something. Parang ganon. So, medyo mas panalo yung rate ni GCash kahit dito sa Barcelona. In fairness, ang galing ni GCash. So that's it for today. Good night.